so Estranged is a, is a film about uh, centering on January, who has an accident whilst traveling abroad and loses her memory. And so her boyfriend reaches out to her family and essentially arranges to bring her home. Mm -hmm. And when she gets there, she sort of can't remember, obviously, and then things sort of start to take, uh, take a turn for the worse. And how did you guys get involved with the project? James? Uh, I was approached by Will Borthwick. Mm. Uh, who offered me an astonishing amount of money. <laughs> it was really so was small, <laughs> it was quite astonishing. <laughs> and I thought, well, <laughs> I guess the script's got to be good. If, if they are paying me £25 a day, um, I, sh I should read the script. So I read the script, and I loved it. And uh, so I was, I was very happy to come and, and had a wonderful experience with, with Adam and Jimmy and it's, it's been great. And you were great in the film. I mean, you were here as a Fright Fest guest in the past with The Glass Man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, brilliant. Um, the producer, William Bo Borthwick, called me and said, I've written you a, a role <laughs> with the writer, Simon. We've written you a role. So um, <laughs> that doesn't happen every day. So uh, I had to pay to be in it. <laughs> um, but so that's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it was, um, no, I mean, it, it was... A, <laughs> Such a funny character. I mean, yeah, it's, you know, you're, dark. Real, you're a real cad, aren't you? Yeah, he is a bit, yeah. Is yeah. it, is it uh, is typecasting? Is, is that it, how that, you that, are in real life? Yeah, I thought it was well, a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> all, of all the characters, like, in, in from what it was on the page, like, mm. Jimmy, like, really workshopped that guy. Lawrence, <laughs> yeah. like, he's quite mm. different if you were to read the, the draft. <laughs> a lot of, like, a lot of ad, not ad living that's the wrong word, but sort of like you'd always come like in the evening, you'd be like, tomorrow, can I, can I be stroking a cat? Or like, can I, you know, like just throwing all these weird ideas out there and like, mm. you definitely worked it. It was different. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And tell us a bit about your character, James, in this film. Uh, oh, um, uh, you know, uh, you know, discipline is a good thing in the family. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he, he's a, he's a very dark, uh, character, goodness knows mm -hmm. uh, what his background has been, but he's come to this place where he is this malevolent overlord of this family, mm. you know, and and has happened in, in very constrained spaces mm. and, and uh, to the exclusion of, of, of the rest of the world, things can go very twisted and very dark very easily if it's mm. led by someone who's yeah, got absolutely. a sort of malevolent nature to him. Sure. Uh, where did you film the movie? I mean, it's it, essentially one location, but it's quite a broad. That's not restricting it because you've got the opening sequence, etc. Yeah. Where did you film it? Was it called Lambton Castle, uh, Lambton Court, Lambton uh, Durham uh, County, Durham? Yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it was this amazing location, and um, you know, the story of the location was that they, like Simon and Will, had originally like had this other location mm -hmm. that they that they'd written the script for, but by the time the script was ready. That one went away, it went into foreclosure or something, they lost that access to that, so we had to actually look for one, and Wolf had found this one. Mm -hmm. And it was like a place where they had, I think they were trying to raise money through, they, they had done like hunting up there, like pheasant hunts, and like you got to do a little bit of uh, hunting when we were up there mm -hmm. filming or whatnot, and that was like mainly what they were doing, and they decided that they wanted to move into like using it for locations as another revenue stream. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we were like the first, and since then like it's been on a ton of like, UK TV shows, period things, sure. and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a great location. It is a cool yeah. location. It, it's actually uh, the interiors are actually not what you see on the exterior because we had that 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 actual manor house. Mm. But then they had this really bizarre like fake castle that was like built, I think, at the turn of the century, like nineteen something, mm. nineteen ten, mm. or I, I don't know. But it had like sort of fallen into disrepair, and it was built in the style of a castle, but it was not an actual castle. And so we were able to use that like a studio kind of and just do what we wanted to with the interior spaces. Sure. Pretty, pretty ideal actually to have those two things to work with. Now we've just come from the big Fright Fest premiere literally mm -hmm. minutes ago. Mm -hmm. How was it for you guys? It's always lovely to, to, to watch something, you know, because, um, you know, we're not, as actors, we're not involved in the, the, the post-production sure. and, and all the stuff and the editing that goes on. So it's, it's actually really fresh to us, you know. Wow. And mm. it's been quite a while since we did it, so... Is this it, the first time you've actually seen it? Absolutely, the first time, yeah. I was very impressed, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Mm. Likewise, yeah. Although I know I, do, I saw a cut originally, a little while ago, um, 
but uh, no, as Delaine Lee, or like we did that. Yeah, uh, we did a little yeah, screening. Did a little we? screening at, one, at a post house we were working with. It's interesting because my partner Laura um, and I, when we first watched it a few months ago, she was in the screening today. She said there's some stuff that's definitely changed about it. So. Mm. Oh yeah, it went underwent quite a bit. Of, like the opening is new, and then it sort of a, it's a little shorter, a little bit of tightening, okay. and then amping up the looks, music. It looks fantastic on <laughs> yeah. the screen, though, doesn't it? With yeah. The sound and everything. Yeah, really good. The DOP Gary Shaw did a great, like Absolutely. a really good job. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's next for you guys, each one of you? Uh, I'm just finishing off a movie called Whiskey Galore, and then I'm Fantastic. going to start a, a TV six-part TV thing called The Durrells, okay. set out in Corfu, which is sounds good. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, well, the producer William Borthwick and Jimmy and I have been developing a script, uh, which is this Viking Western. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, Viking Western. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So that's exciting, and that's 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 starting to get some. Uh, Traction, as people yeah, say, yeah, in the business, and movie, you know, things yeah, are starting yeah. to happen. Yeah. So that's exciting. Um, and then, personally, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm developing a comedy for a TV. Yeah, tell us a bit about that. That sounded good. So it's, it's about three taxi drivers that share a taxi in Brighton, and uh, it's called Rank. Um, <laughs> and um, I, I'm, I'm playing one of the taxi drivers. It's well. the perfect it's title as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. as well as writing. Spot and on. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's got. Cool. Adam. I'm gonna like get coffee for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>